Hello, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Morning Verses with Mike. Thank you for getting up and joining me this morning. Remember, I do this every single weekday, 6.15 a.m. Mountain. So regardless of what time it is where you're at, thank you so much for joining me. If you would do me a favor, if you're gaining something out of these verses, throw a thumbs up out there. Let's help share the word, spread the word. And you can do that by sharing this video for me, if you would. There's a share button somewhere over there. I'm not even going to try and point to where it is because I don't know. And if you would, click the little notification icon that says, hey, tell me when Morning Verses with Mike goes live. That would be cool, too. So thank you for uh, hopping in here and joining me. I got to look because I got my mic in the way of the screen this morning. So good morning, Bambi. I saw a few people hop in here this morning. And... Uh, Bambi, Tim, thank you. So this morning, I'm going to be covering uh, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. And the book of Zephaniah, one of the perspectives on this is talking about God's justice. And God's justice, we can't just assume that God's going to let us off the hook for sin, sinful behavior. We can't assume that he is just going to let us slide right? He sees, he takes notice, and when he needs to, he'll crack down. So the book of Zephaniah, specifically where we're talking about in Zephaniah 3, it's Judah being judged and then subsequently restored and saved. So Zephaniah 3.17 says, For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior, he will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. So as I was saying, it talks about that redemption. It talks about that we can be saved. And with judgment is a reminder that the promises of God and his people will be restored through him. So it's a reminder too. keep in mind this whole book. It's a reminder that there are consequences for our actions. We can't just do and then say, oh, well, I'll ask for forgiveness later and everything will be OK. There are going to be consequences. God sees all. He knows all. God is all right. He's all around us. He knows what's going on. He's checking in right now. <laughs> so. It's a reminder that he surrounds us completely. In fact, he is us. He loves us unconditionally, and therefore we are unconditional love. Also, I, it can sometimes seem like I'm talking in circles this morning, but it's one of those verses where when I, I'm, I'm jotting my notes down, I get so excited and enveloped in it and tied up and, and just pumped about the verse. And for, for me, what it means is that with God surrounding us and that unconditional love that we have, that's one of those things that to me, it just warms me and excites me and fires me up. Kind of in closing here, you have to remember that the might of men, the might of people is that of only people. It's individuals. It's not the Lord, our savior. The Lord, he is everything that envelops and surrounds us. So there's a, a a certain calm and peace at the same time. Part of the reason we have that calm and peace and that total belief of, of restoration is because he is everything. So thank you for getting up and joining me for a morning versus with Mike morning this morning. I hope your day is starting off absolutely fantastic. If you would do me a favor, Share a verse that's impacting you right now. I am, as I've shared many mornings, I'm a believer that verses in the Bible will hit us differently. They will speak to us differently at different times in our lives, depending on what we've got going on, right? And, and God always sends the right message at the right time. So if you have a verse that's impacting you, do me a favor, share that in the sidebar or share it on your social media. Share the faith with the world and spread that love and that goodness. So thank you for getting up and joining me. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Do it every weekday, 6.15 a.m. Mountain. We'll talk to you soon, everybody. Until then, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.